Alright, so what's up guys, your ball here in the back of our video, and today I'm showing you the new best center build in NBA 2K22. When I tell you this is the best center build, bro, this is the best center build, bro. 96 speed, uh, 85 vertical, you know, basically 90s and all the defensive stats, uh, contact dunks, you know what I'm saying? This build is just crazy, make sure you stay tuned, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Because we're on the road to 2,000 subs. And yes, straight into it. So you want to go with the power forward for the position. Hand is and the number obviously doesn't matter. But the pie chart um, for every, you know, center build. Obviously, you want to go with the uh, pure red. And you obviously want to go with the, with the uh, pure speed. So yeah, pure speed. And we want to do for the finishing. Max out the close shot. Max out that. Or not max out the driving layup. Put the driving layup just to a 61. Max out the driving dunk. And max out the standing dunk. So you get 60 in finishing. Shooting, do not touch the shooting, but playmaking, max out your pass accuracy, put your ball handler with 51, then max out your post control, and then the defense, you just want to max out all of your defensive stats, you should have 30 defensive badges, and we're left with one more, uh, to be honest, I'm just going to put this in my driving layup, but it really doesn't matter, you're not going to get like any extra badges or anything, but yeah, this is the badge spread right here, 16, 1, 16, 30, um, definitely like the best badge spread for an inside big. Um, so yeah, it's a total of 53 badges, I believe. So yeah, really good, uh, bad spread for this build. Uh, barely for the body shape, but I would go with, um, now the height. Again, this is made of metric system. I'm going to start making a lot of my builds, or like at least my big man build, with the metric system. So basically, you want to do, um, you want to put this up to 2.13, and then go down to 2.02, .02, alright? Now, as you can see, I have an 86 rebound and 83 speed, but notice if I just go from here, 2.06 just straight to 2.02 notice how my rebound is at 85 and my speed is plus one okay what you want to do instead of doing that just go 2.13 and then go back down to 2.02 then you get an 86 defense rebound and 83 speed so yeah now the weight you do want to put it all the way down i mean if you put it up i mean i guess your interior defense will, will be better uh but to be honest you don't really need interior defense that much because there's literally no interior defense like it really does not matter where your interior defense is you're barely going to be getting any stops at all so yeah interior de defense doesn't really matter but you do have hall of fame defensive badges 30 of them actually so yeah um okay so yeah, go with that minimum weight to get the most possible speed and the wingspan obviously you want to go max wingspan no question about it because you're a big obviously you're going to want max wingspan so, um, a 99 overall gym rack, uh, 99 gives you plus 4, gym rack gives you plus 4, this is 96 speed, 93 acceleration, and 85 vertical, bro. 96 speed on your big man build, that is crazy, um, 91 close shot, you'll have a 70 driving layup, uh, 93 driving dunk, 97 standing dunk, so you'll be able to get the elite contact dunks in 98 overall, um, playmaking, 74 pass accuracy, 59 ball handle, 63 post control, but their defense, bro, the defense, 72 interior defense, like I said before, interior defense is really much of a factor this year. Um, 93 perimeter defense, 93 lateral quickness, 94 speed, or 94 steal, 93 uh, block, 93 offensive rebound, 95 defensive rebound. Everything on the defense except for the interior defense will be 93 or above, which is absolutely crazy. Um, so yeah, you're going to be able to hedge really well, obviously, you know, with that 96 speed. You can, this is basically a lockdown, like, this is, you can, like, make this as a lockdown, but with shooting, um, so yeah, like, you could literally play lock and just put shooting on this build, uh, glass clean take, obviously go glass clean take, rim take is not that good, uh, but yeah, we got the glass cleaning finisher to Sean Kemp, Draymond Green, and Scotty Barnes, I don't know why Draymond Green is like every single freaking big man build I make, I don't know why, it was on the last one, and this one too, um, but yeah, uh, finishing, we want to do, you want to go fearless finisher, obviously, posterizer, obviously, slithery finisher, obviously, limitless takeoff, um, obviously there, and that fast twitch, and I'll go with, uh, rise up right here, now the shooting, um, the shooting will not matter at all, unless you obviously put shooting on this build, like shooting attributes, but in that case, you would have more shooting badges, but shooting badges really does not matter, slippery off ball though is good, obviously, for, um, you know, rolling and stuff after setting the screen, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with, uh, Quick for step and unpluckable, really no explanation there. Uh, defense though, rebound chaser, Hall of Fame obviously, rim protector, Hall of Fame, intimidator, interceptor, uh, chase down on silver is what I run at, um, Hall of Fame brick wall, Hall of Fame box, and then Hall of Fame worm. This is a crazy build, bro. Uh, along with the 96 speed, uh, yeah, and all these Hall of Fame defensive badges, you're gonna be good, bro, trust me. Uh, but yeah, that's it. If you make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, let's get to. Uh, 2,000 subs, and this is Airball. Peace.